Hello, I'm Eileen Holman, proprietor of New World Textiles, and I would like to introduce you today to Dylicious Cotton, my new ready-to-dye fabric. First of all, I'd like to introduce you a little bit to um, cotton and its dyeability. The cotton fiber is a single cell. It is primarily cellulose. Cellulose has pectins, lignans, and other substances generally termed impurities attached to the, to the cellulose. The pectins in particular are resistant to water and to dye and need to be removed. So the cotton goes to a spinning mill and a weaving mill and the spinning mill may add wax to it. The weaving mill may also add sizing. So washing or laundering in hot soapy water will remove anything the mill has added uh, it will pre-shrink the fabric and it may remove uh, the natural wax. Scouring, however, is different than washing or laundering and it removes the natural wax plus all of the impurities that interfere with the dye take-up. To scour cotton you need high alkalinity, high heat, and longer time. Simmering for three to four hours in a washing soda solution at a pH of about 10 is usually sufficient. As a natural dyer, after I scour fabric, I mordant it. And a mordant is a substance that attaches to the cellulose that helps attract the dye to the cellulose. Synthetic dyers call these extra chemicals auxiliaries or assists. In the normal sequence of events, the fiber goes to the spinning and then to the weaving and then sometimes it gets scoured as fabric and then it goes to the store where you would buy it. But the scouring can occur before the yarn is made or after the yarn is made. So the delicious cotton that I'm offering is cotton that has been both scoured and mordanted in the fiber form before the yarn is made. So the yarn has been treated before it goes to weaving. So I'm using a yarn that has been treated and a yarn that has not been treated in order to obtain a semi-solid, a half tone, a small stripe, and a shaded stripe. So these are the fabrics after they've been dyed. These are the fabrics before they've been dyed. So you will dye your fabrics and obtain uh, different stripe patterns and different tones.